I think the role of Chancellor at one level is, is sort of legalistically spelled out in the Charter, the role of, of the titular head of the university, of ambassador, of advocate. And I think it's all of that, and but more, it's also an opportunity to be a, an advisor to the university on issues that we will face over the years ahead in our development. And I guess the answer is we do, chancellors do whatever the university asks them to do because that's why they're there. And there are a number of particular issues. And for example, the whole question of Aboriginal education, where this university, Nipissing, is taking a leading role, happens to be an item of personal interest, but certainly not limited to that narrow question. I've had the privilege of working at young universities, at what I suppose one might call middle-aged universities, and one ancient university. The appeal of Nipissing, other than returning to my hometown, is an appeal of an institution with a real sense of how it can make a difference and uh, achieve real accomplishments going forward, and being part of that's a fabulous privilege. You can maybe speculate as to what five to ten years looks like, and I think there it, the prospects are very promising, rooted in the academic planning exercise, which is currently completing itself, and those high aspirations which are coming out of the entire university community, led by the president, um, will take, I think, to be realizable, bringing private support to the table in a meaningful way. So this is a, this is a call to government, it's a call to our friends and alumni to be part of making the difference of what this place will look like five to ten years from now.